Hey guys, it's Slabby Dragon. This week I wanted to give you something of a behind the scenes on Let's Read with Labby Dragon. So let's talk about the makeup. Uh, in the first episode, I was wearing this ancient, crappy, no no name brand, probably bought at a dollar store or family dollar or whatever when I was a little kid and somehow survived even though I have not worn makeup for the past all of my life. <laughs> it's really just a recent phenomenon that I enjoy makeup as a costume piece. Um, but I, I have to use this wet and when I started using it, I had to use a Q-tip. I didn't have any brushes or sponge applicators for this stuff because, again, not wearing makeup, not having the supplies. Uh, it also has sort of a twin, a blue twin, instead of a purple, um, which actually I'd still like to use. I um, came up with a Power Rangers villain inspired look and I really love it, and I want to use it on the show. So even though this is really horrible quality, when I... This one is actually better than the purple, but when I use it wet, it's just mildly bad, so <laughs> it'll be fine. But um, what happened is, in between the first and the second episode, I got some real equipment and makeup and uh, we'll start with I got this brush set and the little separately the little pencil sharpener with the little heart on it it's it's got glitter and rhinestones and it's so girly and adorable and um, I got this at forever 21 for considerably less than I was gonna pay for the same brushes in a set but without the carry case at Claire's so that made me incredibly happy. And plus these brushes, before I started using most of them, they have this little pink tip. And I just thought that was the cutest thing ever. I'm really kind of a girly dork. <laughs> but, uh, and what I did buy at Claire's, I did buy eyeshadow. This is something like a 57 palette. It's very professional. Um, it was $12.00 and I wanted an 88 palette for but I'd have to order it offline and obviously it costs more and the $12 shiny makeup right in my face just got my money right away I fell in love with this before I bought it I actually did look up to see if anybody was like oh my god this is a piece of crap don't buy it but there was no such review. There was actually a review that said it's very professional quality makeup. And that made me happy, as it does in fact tout itself as professional eye makeup kit. Uh, so it's nice to know it really is great and I love it. And I've been playing around with it because I love playing with eyeshadow, uh, crazy like character inspired designs and mostly using these bright colors here. I love neon pastels. I just love it. <laughs> and uh, uh, also in the second episode, I was wearing the purple half of this NYC eyeliner duet. And I, when I was experimenting it with it before the show, um, the black works just fine. And that's fine and all, but it's the black. I bought it for the purple, but the purple was a pain. Just an awful pain. And maybe I did something to it that was weird, or I let it heat up or something. I don't know. But I probably wouldn't buy this again or any other colors in the line. I would um, instead <laughs> attempt to buy a different brand just because it was so painful to get this on just underneath my eyes and it just really wasn't worth it to me but luckily it was a really cheap eyeliner um, <laughs> so I'm happy about that 
as I something else that survives from like my childhood are these lipsticks the purple over here I don't know you probably can't see the color I think there's too much glare but um the purple over here is what I have been using uh, but I also have a choice of um, a really nice light blue uh, white silver a uh, golden yellow and then just kind of like a plain old pink and these are nice they're fine and they're really old and they're a non-brand they're probably from uh, Family Dollar and their 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 brand is something called Alexis lip syncs I don't know if that even if they whoever made this makes this stuff anymore and I'm willing to bet not but it's just the most adorable little like kids but yet real lipstick um, and I kind of love it all right this actually has very little to do with let's read with Labby dragon but I have a best friend I have this best friend because I'm a performing artist um, I did drama all in high school. I'm currently going to college for a degree in performing arts. And so I was introduced to a little something called the bruise wheel. And ever since I have been obsessed with it. I am always, whenever there's some kind of costume party every Halloween, I'm like, well, do you want me to beat the crap out of you? <laughs> with my bruise wheel out and I'm like, bruise wheel. <laughs> And um, actually, uh, last Halloween, my roommate did let me. I um, I put a nice big <laughs> gash on her, like above her eyebrow, and it was pretty nice. Um, I do have this professional sort of really expensive quality blood, and I should really be using corn syrup all the time, but I kind of have a little snobbish streak in me that wants wants to have the professional quality strawberry cherry flavored makeup and it's just it's just overpriced blood is all <laughs> um, but I do love it to death uh, it's just so great uh, and something else I was able to do uh, our college did the humans versus zombies um, and both of our uh, like closest guy friends um, were zombies during the last stand so they come to, they come and um, I think one of them first comes to one of my roommates and is like I kind of want to have like a bloody hand and I went I can do that for you big bloody handprint on his face we took some lipstick for like the base, but then I like bruised all around it and put the blood all over it. And so of course his friend, my ex, um, he goes, yeah, I want something too. So he comes over and, and I go, well, what do you want? And he goes, oh no, blood. So I stand there for a second. Okay, that's not very descriptive. And then all of a sudden I go, <laughs> I can make it look like I hit you in the back of the head with a baseball bat and I did and then I put some bruises all over his face and it was just really a fun time the whole humans versus zombies thing I didn't play but it was really fun and I'm gonna totally pimp my skills out next year when we do it because <laughs> I would love to just have a line of people even even free like just coming into my dorm to get done for the last stand or whatever <laughs> but a lot of people did their own makeup and actually uh, during one of the missions actually I'm not gonna talk about that um, <laughs> because I am at nine minutes and something and that's pretty close to the YouTube time limit so I will see you guys next time